Hi, I'm Lucy Bloom and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to chat about how to make starter pots from what you've got in your home. I really hope you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe if you do. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so to start, anything can be a starter pot more or less. And anything can be a pot more or less. It just needs to adhere to a few simple rules. Number one, you need to make sure there's enough room in the container so the roots can grow fully. Um, so you need to know what kind of seed you're working with. Number two, you need to make sure there's some way for it to leach water. So whether that's putting holes in the bottom like in a container like this, or just leaving it be with newspaper because the kind of the water will like evaporate off it quite easily with newspaper. So you don't need any kind of holes. Number three, you need to make sure you're not planting in anything nasty. So don't plant in a bleach container, don't use glossy magazines with heavy inks and dyes, nothing like that, because that could harm the soil and the plant, and if it's veggies, it could harm you. So just be quite careful with that. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you how to make some biodegradable containers, classics, you've got toilet paper tubes, egg boxes, rolled newspaper pots, and some other things you'll have kicking about your house as well, some non-biodegradable containers like tins. So we're gonna start with the easiest one, toilet paper tubes. They're absolutely pimps. It's already essentially a container in itself. All you need to do is make four snips in the bottom, one, two, three, four, and then interlock those points. There you go, it's done. I've got a few handy tips though when you're doing this because toilet paper tubes, they're not too sturdy if you're just gonna get a couple seedlings in them. They're just gonna fall over. What I do usually is I'll do quite a few toilet paper tube seedlings and I'll maybe band them together. You can use an elastic band or some kind of twine and that just makes it a bit more structural. They're not gonna fall over that way. If you're doing a lot of seedlings, what you can do is you can pop them in a lasagna dish or a similar kind of shallow dish then they've got the structural support of each other and they're not gonna fall over there as well. Or if you're only doing a couple of wee ones, you can do what I've done with this one here. That's a toilet paper tube I've just stuck inside of there. It looks a bit weird right now because it started to degrade. That's completely normal and healthy. Um, but yeah, if you put it in there, it's structural, but also you can bottom feed it. So instead of feeding it from the top, which is a bit worse and it causes a bit more decomposition for the toilet paper tube, you can feed it from the bottom, just kind of sliding in the side and getting it fed from the bottom. And there it's just gonna soak it up as and when it needs that water during the day. You can also do that for the lasagna dish as well. So I'd recommend either of those methods are hunky-dory, they're fab. When planting out a toilet paper tube seedling, um, although it is a biodegradable material, just bear in mind some toilet paper tubes can be quite thick. So just kind of pay attention to the kind of plant you've got. What I always do is I'll always at least stop the interlocking here. So I'll uninterlock it at the bottom section. And perhaps if it's a kind of seedling with kind of tender roots, I'll just completely remove the toilet paper. So once again, just pay attention to the kind of seedling you have. When planting, however, one top tip, if you're going to keep the toilet paper tube, because you can just pop it right in the ground, make sure you bury the top of this. Make sure it's not poking out the soil. This is because if this is poking out the soil, it will just leach water into the atmosphere and you could just dehydrate your seedling. So if you are gonna pop into the ground, just bury the top of it, easy peasy. Egg boxes are really self-explanatory. Get an egg box, fill it with soil, give it some seeds, water it, you're done. There's only a few things to pay attention to. Um, you need to make sure you're getting the right seeds for that container. So if it's something with a massive root system, egg box not for you. That's because they're quite shallow. So you're gonna strangle that seedling. It's not gonna have anywhere to put its roots. Another thing, when planting out, it should be quite degraded by that point. So it'd be quite easy just to kind of nip off one of these wee egg bits and pop it in the soil. However, I usually take the egg box away. That's just because they tend to be quite thick cardboard. It could have some dyes in it as well. 
so I don't like kind of putting in the soil. But if you do put it in the soil, just make sure you've got somewhere for the roots to go. So if it hasn't degraded enough already, you need to make a small hole in the bottom just so those roots can go through. Also break it up a wee bit if you could as well, just so it's easier for the plant to kind of push out of the egg box as well while it's degrading. The last one of the biodegradable pots is rolled paper or newspaper pots. They're my absolute favourite because you can choose how big you want to make them. Um, I'm going to be using newspaper today, but you can use paper as well. Um, if you've only got A4 paper and you want to make a larger pot, you can always staple two bits of A4 together or use sellotape. Just make sure not to plant that all out. So don't just pop it in the ground and hope that'll be okay. If it's got staples in it, if it's got sellotape, that's not going to biodegrade. So get that chucked and just take it out of its pot before you're planting out. Another rule is don't use magazine paper, no glossy magazine paper, because sometimes that contains heavy dyes and they're not very good for your soil or your plant. All right, before we begin, my nails are rubbish. They're just absolutely covered in dirt. Um, I'm a gardener, please don't judge me on it. Um, if it bothers you, I'm really sorry. Um, here is our bit of paper. Once again, I'm using newspaper. You can do it with paper though. You just want to, as a first fold, slice it into thirds. So just fold it so it's vaguely even. Doesn't need to be perfect, no one is. Um, just three sections. Then we're gonna do some cuts. So you see this bit that's together? Just give it a wee cut. It's easy enough, it's just gonna take you a wee minute to do. Um, just some information about the pot itself. It's quite, uh, well, it loses water, newspaper, really rather easily because the water is not just coming out of the kind of the hole at the bottom, it's also going to come out the sides. So if you've got this in a really, really hot area, you're going to have to check the soil quite often, if I'm being honest with you. That's another thing with seedlings because they've not got much soil in them, uh, they're going to dry out. So just be wary of that. These do dry out really rather rapidly. You might have to water them way more than you'd think. Okay, now that we've done this, the next step is to get a tin can. Now, I swear I'm not sponsored by Heinz, but Heinz, if you're out there, give me a shout. I'm not uh, I'm not averse to the, to, the, uh, to the idea. We're gonna leave a small amount of space. I'd say about five centimeters, uh, sorry, five, uh, five centimeters or an inch. Just give it a wee roll. So just when it's all lined up, just roll your can. Do a nice tight roll if you can. And there we go. It's not gonna come out perfect, I'm gonna be honest with you. No one is, you're totally fine. Okay, so when you've done this, the underside's gonna look like that. Just give it a wee fold over. Doesn't need to entirely meet in the middle. Ah, that's perfect. If it's got that wee hole there, no worries. That's totally fine. Okay, and then give it a wee crush. So crush it down a wee bit. Just pop your strength into it. And then when you're ready, hey presto, pull it out. In your own time. There we go. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's it. That's a rolled paper pot. They're easy to make. What you do now is you pop soil in it, it becomes a lot more rigid, it retains its shape, and they'll last absolutely ages. I've had uh, I've had my paper pots that I showed you earlier on for the last month, just going on a month, and they hold up really, really well. So that's you, that's your paper pot. So those are our biodegradable containers, but you can also go for something that's non-biodegradable, such as a cheeky wee tin or a can. You just need to make sure it's adhering to those rules at the beginning so that it's got good holes in the bottom so that the water can come out of it, that it's got a good amount of space for those roots to grow, and also that it's non-toxic. So tins have a wee bit of chemicals in them, so don't grow anything veggie-wise in it. And also make sure it doesn't get too hot. Tin, of course, is a conductor of heat. So if this gets too warm, your roots are gonna fry, and that's not good, especially if you've got some sensitive wee pansies like this wee thing here. But this guy here is holding up well so far. I just need to make sure it doesn't get too hot. All right, there you have it. How to make a pot from stuff you've already got in your home. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you'll enjoy my origami uh, paper pot tutorial, which I'll link to. 
It's a bit stronger and sturdier than the rolled pots I've already showed you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and have a lovely day. Bye!